This is the Nutribullet RX. I mean, this is the motorized base. This is the big blending jar for making your smoothies, juices, things like that. And then this is the specialized jar or thermal jar, I guess, to use this unit's unique feature, which is a heating element so that you can make heated soups. But let me show you how this works. And a word of caution, it's not going to be quiet. So I have in here, well, I used to be a raw fooder, so it's probably better if I don't tell you what's in here. But there's, let me put it this way, there's 250 grams of frozen spinach in here, which is not the easiest thing to blend. There's other ingredients in there which are a bit easier to blend. The one thing I will say about the Nutribullet line of products, and I say this as someone who's, I think this is my third unit, and I love them so much that now my parents have their own, but the power. They have immense power and it almost seems like they could blend up absolutely anything. They can't. I have found that out the hard way, but they have a lot of power and the engine lasts really well. I've never had an engine burn out, even with this one with the heating element, um, as opposed to some of the cheaper models where the engine can fail on you. Now, this one, one of the perks about this one is that it has a almost a program in it. So when it comes to blending something like this, it can be very hard to blend it all in one go. Sometimes you put all of this on a traditional blender and it will get stuck because there's simply too much to blend. So I'll whack this in now and what you'll see without me touching it is that it will go hard at first and then slow down, go hard, at, hard again and then slow down again, I think, and then finally one fast burst, one high burst to finish. And the end result, is that it blends it much more easily without you having to, you know, tap, tap, tap and shake the jug around. Having said that, still recommend giving it a bit of a shake before you get going and make sure that it's done up nice and tight. This is on now, I'll put this in here. So there you go. I don't think it pulsed or cycled as many times as I thought, but you could hear it turn itself down, turn the speed down. That's to allow what it's blending to sort of fall back down, come back down, remix, and then it blitzes it again. So now you take it out, it's good to go. All you have to do, obviously you don't drink it through here. You will remove the top. I just want to do that here because sometimes it can drip out and I don't want it to drop out on my kitchen table. And then this is a smaller jar, by the way. You take the drinking lid, not the drinking lid, but the drinking ring, you screw that onto your jar, and then you're able to take it around and drink straight out of the jar. You can always pour into a glass or mug if you want to. So that's what sets this apart, I would say, with the Nutribullet. It's the power, the reliability, and then that little extra with the pulsing function. I will say, I mean, I've had these jugs since 2018, 2019, so I've had them a few years. You'll notice that the plastic goes a bit opaque. That's the case with any plastic. Um, it's a simple enough job to go and get new jugs if you want to. And also obviously over the years, the blades may blunt a little bit or lose their edge. And if you get a new base, then obviously you can get new blades, but there's been no problem with the engine itself. Now, when it comes to using this jug, you use the same base, this jug has holes at the top to allow steam to escape. So this is for when you're making soups with the heated element. Now, if you're wondering how that works, I won't do it for you here, but you can see a button, this G button on the front. When I just blended that smoothie, it stayed as green. If I had pushed this button down, I think it's for two seconds as I was making that, it would have switched over to the soup making mode, which I believe runs for seven minutes. It's been, it's been a while since I use it, but that just continually does its thing for seven minutes and there's a heating element inside that will heat up whatever you're blending. Now, I have used this feature once or twice. It works. It's not the same, however, as let's say I love broccoli soup. And the way I do it very simply, you can thank Gordon Ramsay for this, Boil it in a pot, remove most of the water. There's a little bit of water there. Then I get a stick mixer and blend it up. So the broccoli is lightly boiled. I gave that same recipe a go with this jar and the heating element here. 
put some broccoli in, put some water, a bit of salt, etc. seasoning, hit this green button to turn red, it did its thing. The only issue I have with it, first off, it's very noisy for seven minutes. Okay, that, that's to be expected. Secondly, it's just my personal preference. I'm not sure about leaving this thing heating for seven minutes. Um, put it this way. The instruction manual says don't run it twice in a row without letting it, if you run, you can run it twice in a row, but then after that, you have to let it cool for 30 to 60 minutes. It also says don't do the same soup twice in a row. So if you run the seven minute program, let's say my broccoli soup, and I go, it's not hot enough. It distinctly says don't run the same soup through it. So it's just a, you don't really want your tabletop blenders getting super hot. That's the thing that's a little bit weird. The third thing is that it gets to heat up to about 70 degrees. That's what it states in the manual. Now, 70 degrees, I don't have to tell you, that's Celsius. That's not boiling, boiling being 100 degrees. If you want to make a soup like I did with a broccoli soup, you do have to get the water up to boiling. If it gets up to 70 degrees, it's not going to be the same. Now, I used to be a raw foodist. That would have been perfect for me because that would be like a raw broccoli soup where the broccoli hasn't truly been boiled. But if you're making a soup, for example, I did with frozen peas, that worked a bit better because the peas just kind of needed to be heated up and then blended. But it doesn't really cook. Like if you were to take, I don't know, you wanted to make a carrot soup, if you put the carrots in there with some water and then turned on the heating element, I don't think those carrots are going to cook, especially when it only gets up to 70 degrees. And then remember, you're not supposed to run it through twice to heat it up. Now, what you could do and what the manual states is if it's not hot enough, empty it from the Nutribullet into your traditional stove top and then heat it up further so that you can bring it to boiling, etc. At that point, I'd be saying, well, why not just make it on the stove top to begin with? Or why not just do what I was doing before? Use a stove top and then use a stick mixer, a hand blender. So the heating element, it's nice. It's a nice thing to have, especially if you're moving into a new place by yourself and you don't have a stick mixer, you don't have a processor, and all you have is your Nutribullet. And by the way, it's got suction cups, as you can hear every time I pull it off. That's to keep it stable, especially during the cooking phase. Seven minutes, you don't want it spurting all over the place. It's nice as an all-in-one unit, but you're certainly not going to be able to make every soup under the sun. And if the soup requires proper boiling, the unit doesn't get up to 100 degrees and it probably shouldn't because that could be quite dangerous. It is well designed, however. These plastic jars are very thick, very durable, dishwasher safe, importantly, so it's very easy to clean. And then this lid has gaps in it to allow steam to escape. So that's a really, really cool design feature. And I have used this jug and made this particular recipe many, many times and never had any complaints. So yeah, the Nutribullet RX, the base, the engine has lasted me four or five years. I would say I'm about due to replace these jugs because as you can see, as you use them, they do go a little bit opaque. This one, you can tell I've used a lot less. So that's what it generally looks like, more like a glass. But I highly, highly recommend this. If you're looking, if you're someone who's looking to get healthy and you want to make smoothies and you don't want to be paying an arm and a leg every time you get a smoothie, Grab your favorite smoothie recipe. I'm sure this will be able to make it for you. Coconut, water, flax seed, spinach, blueberry, the whole nine yards. The heating element, I could take it or leave it if I'm honest. But overall, highly, highly recommended. I'm now gonna drink my smoothie.